Hey guys, my name is Joseph, co-founder of Aption Labs. I'm here to show you how to cook with meter for the first time. Let's season this sirloin steak. I've preheated my grill so it's ready to go. There are many ways to cook a steak, but today I'm gonna show you how to sear it first with direct heat and then finish it with indirect heat. Let's sear each side for about a minute. We just finished searing the steak. Now let's use meter. First turn it on by taking it out of the charger. Position the internal sensor, the meter probe located here, into the center of the thickest part of the meat, making sure the safety notch is completely inside the meat. This tip is the ambient temperature sensor and should be placed two inches from the meat surface for best measurement. Meter is a leave-in meat thermometer. This means you leave meter inside the meat until you're ready to eat. Now let's set up a guided cook. Let's launch the app. Setting up a guided cook allows you to choose preset meat temperatures and receive automatic alerts to help you achieve your target result. I want to cook beef sirloin steak. I love my steaks medium rare. That's 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's start to cook. This is the ambient temperature reading. It'll appear once you start cooking. Now let's finish the steak. I only have one burner on and let's place the steak over indirect heat. We recommend to place meter at least two inches away from any wall. and your phone propped up instead of lying flat or in your pocket. If you need extended range, use meter link. It'll also allow you to monitor your cook with a second device. Now let's get indoors. Oh, I didn't see you there. I got caught up in my book. Let's check on that cook. These are the internal target and ambient readings. They correspond to the dial indicators here. When the internal temperature indicator reaches the target, your cook is ready. This is the cook time estimate. You can also tap the sender to toggle elapsed time. You can create custom alerts by tapping the alert icon. There's already one active alert that will notify you five minutes before the cook ends. Tap the graph icon to see a visual representation of the internal and ambient temperature over time. All right, that's our five minute alert. Let's return to the steak. Awesome. Let's rest that steak. Resting the steak will allow the internal temperature to rise and meet your target. Almost there. Let's remove the meter probe. Be careful, it might be hot. When you pull the meter probe, make sure not to apply perpendicular force up, down, left, or right, but pull it straight out. There we go. Now that's how you cook a steak with meter. Let's eat. 